Talk radio host Larry Elder seeks the GOP nomination for the 2024 presidential elections by John Grimaldi Larry Elder is a black conservative talk radio personality who just days ago announced that he is running for the Republican presidential nomination in 2024. Shortly after his announcement he joined Rebecca Weber, CEO of the Association of Mature American Citizens and host of AMAC's Better for America podcast, for an interview. Why is he throwing his hat in the ring? The popular host of The Larry Elder Show told Weber that among his reasons is the fact that Democrats love to dip that knife in the mustard jar of racism and spread it over every issue that they can, arguing that America is systemically racist. And the reason they do that is because they want black people to be angry over alleged social injustice and a lack of equity so that voters go in there like lemmings and pull that lever 90, 95 percent of the time for the Democratic Party. If the Democrats don't succeed in getting black people to vote in a monolith like that, they cannot win the presidential election, which is why they do that all the time. In addition, he said, he brings to the table something that we don't talk enough about, namely, the number one social problem facing America caused by the large number of children who enter the world without a father in the home. These days, 40% of all American kids come into the world without a father in the home, 70% of black kids, 50% of Hispanic kids and 25% of white kids which, by the way, is the same percentage as was the case among blacks back in 1965. Since 65, we launched a so-called war on poverty and have spent over $20 trillion. What we've done is incentivize women to marry the government and incentivize men to abandon their financial responsibility. Barack Obama once said, in one of his more candid moments, a kid raised without a father is far more likely to be poor and commit crime nine times more likely to drop out of school and 20 times more likely to end up in jail. We do not talk enough about this. Elder, who ran for governor of California in 2021, pointed out that homelessness has reached epidemic proportions in that state. Most of the people who are homeless are people who are on substances or are mentally ill. The issue is mental health. And the question is, what do we do about it? We need to have therapy. We need to have the availability of counseling for people and they need to get off the streets. One of the things that's happened in California is that citizens with the best of intentions under the guise of judicial reform passed something called Proposition 47. What cops have told me and what the former sheriff of LA County told me is that the solution is you either get them off the streets and put them into rehab or send them to jail. But, Elder noted, Proposition 47 prohibits that approach with the result that police can no longer threaten to put somebody in jail and so homelessness has increased dramatically. We need to make counseling available, housing available. But once we've done that, people must get off the streets. I've been told that every homeless woman has been raped at least one time. To say the least, living that way is unhygienic for them and for the people who live in those communities who have to walk by them, including kids going to and from school. It's a huge, huge problem that we have in our country regarding mental illness. Please consider joining the Association of Mature American Citizens. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel.